What's up, everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Eric. So not too long ago, I picked up this guy, the GoPro Hero 4 Black, which is a very capable camera, shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second. Now, prior to getting this GoPro, I've used other GoPros before, but I never shot in 4K on any GoPro until I got this guy. And as soon as I started shooting 4K on this GoPro and took it into my video editor for the first time, I discovered that editing the 4K files especially is actually horrible. The GoPros in general shoot in a file format and a codec that is very hard to edit. The files that come out of these devices are really made to be uploaded to social media or something right away. They're not made to be edited easily. So you're going to have to convert them or do something to edit these files. Now if you use Final Cut Pro X like me, Final Cut Pro X transcodes media in the background, which basically is converting files so that they're more editable. Unfortunately, transcoding media in Final Cut Pro X, even though it's in the background and you don't think about it, it takes up a lot of space. And I got to a point where I did not have enough space on my computer to continue editing. So I decided I'm going to have to convert all the files I want to use manually. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in today's video. So there are many ways to convert files to make them more editable. I'm going to show you two. So the first way is actually using GoPro's own software, GoPro Studio. All you're going to have to do is import your GoPro footage and you can click on the advanced settings and adjust the frame rate, adjust the resolution, as well as the quality. Now keep in mind, higher quality means higher file size. Sizes. So if you want to try to keep the file sizes down, you might want to lower the quality a bit. You might not notice it that much. Anyway, you can go out of the advanced settings and click add the file to the converting list. And you can have a ton of files in that list and then click the convert button and it's going to start converting one file at a time. So you can walk away from your computer, come back later and have all your files converted. Now the GoPro Studio app is nice and does have some nice features. Unfortunately, I would like to have a little bit more control over my files. And I find that the GoPro Studio application does convert your files, does make the file sizes more manageable, but there still could be more control and maybe a little bit more compression so that I can have editable files that aren't terribly big. So that's why I'm going to show you the next way to convert files. So the next way is using a piece of software called MPEG Stream Clip, which has been around for a while. There's a free version you can get. And once you have it downloaded and installed, open it up and you can click on the list button at the top and go to batch list. This is way you're going to be able to select multiple files at once and add them to the application. Once you choose the files that you're going to import, then click export as QuickTime and then click OK and then choose your output folder. Once you choose the output folder, a ton of options are going to show up. Don't panic. It's all right. Go to the compression at the top and go to the drop down menu and find ProRes 422LT. Now, ProRes is a very editable codec, so I highly recommend it. And the LT version of ProRes is going to save you a little bit of the file size. So if you deal with a ton of files, it's going to limit your file size a little bit to save you some more hard drive space. Once you choose the compression, I then leave it at 50% quality just to, again, try to save some more space. And then when it goes to the resolution, I just export everything in HD 1080p just because that's how I export everything to begin with when I'm editing videos to post online. So I don't need 4K, even if they're 4K clips, I don't need it. Feel free to dive into all the settings and mess around and whatnot, but you don't really have to. Anyway, once you've chosen your settings, a window will pop up that will show you all the files that you have imported and you can simply click go and it'll start importing all your files. So you can just walk away from your computer, call it a day, come back later, all your files should be converted. And that's really how I do it. I always use MPEG Stream Clip to get the maximum control over everything with quality and file size ratio. So I have manageable file sizes to edit. Um, I find that this works great for me and I recommend you guys do the same. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about exporting, converting GoPro footage or anything like that, uh, of course, leave that in the comments section below. Anyway, guys, hope you liked today's video. I'm Eric. I'll catch you in the next one.